Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is episode 3 of our Worm Online Worm Unlimited tutorial. In this episode, we're going to learn about digging. Let's jump in. The first thing we're going to do is drag and drop our shovel onto our tool belt so we can activate it easily. Again, you can double click on the shovel in order to activate, activate a shovel. In order to do any action, you're going to want to have the item activated. Don't forget, activated item is important. Important to activate the item. The digging menu or the digging action is comprehensive. There's just lots to cover and lots to do. You can flatten a border. Um, you can dig the border flat. You can flat raise. There's just tons of different actions but for this tutorial what we're going to do is really just cover the basic how to make a tile flat so we can put or plan a house on it so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at a tile now the flatter it is the less work you have to do but since I like this location I have a little mountain here that I'm going to dig into I have my tent it's kind of cute I'm going to go ahead and plan my house on this tile. This is where I want my house to be planned, right where I put my little mushroom right there. I'm going to put my mushroom right there. Oh, can't see my mushroom because all of this stuff is in the way. So we're going to go ahead and open. Okay. And we're going to drag it into a different pile because I want to see my mushroom. Oh, there's my mushroom. So the flatter you start off, the better it is. But how do you know it's flat? Well, the only way you know it's flat, there's two ways. Okay, one, you inspect the tile borders. Okay, you, here's the tile border. You can click on it and you can use the shortcut examine or you can right click and examine. This slope is level, which means it's flat. There's nothing that you have to do for that. However, if I look at this one, I can see that it's sloping up. If I inspected this border, okay or examined it I can see that there's three dirts steep towards you which means it's going up okay it's coming down towards me so if water was to be put on that corner over there okay it would drip towards me as opposed to if I'm standing on this corner and I examine this tile border again away from me so if I drop water it will go away from me that's the best way to describe how to read this so in order to make all the tile corners flatter to make this tile flat itself as I need to make all the tile borders flat so this one's flat already we know because we examined it oh and it's level this one is three dirts too steep so we come over to this corner and we highlight our shovel and we highlight this is the tile that we're going to dig on and here are the different digging actions. We can pack the dirt, which is just packing it so nothing grows. Um, we can dig and we can flatten. We're going to go ahead and dig down. And we're going to dig it three times because that's our cue. Three, and it's three tile, three dirts steep. So we dug one dirt and we examine and it's two dirt steep now because we already dug one and we're gonna go ahead and drop these dirts once we dig them up okay we've done dug two dirts if we examine the tile border one more what about this other one we haven't examined this one yet this is seven dirts too steep Okay, so if we examine this border, it's level. If we go over to this border, right click, examine, it's level. But as you can tell, okay, it's still, if I drop water here, it's going to go down towards that. So if we examine this border, it's telling me there's six dirt slope. But I dug up those three pieces of dirt. I can actually come down to this corner, okay. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to drop it on the ground. If I drop as a pile, it will literally drop as a pile in front of me. And there's only three of them, so that doesn't really work. But if I had one more, then it would drop as a pile of dirt. Kind of like that one over there. So let's go ahead and take these. Okay. I went ahead and binded take. 
bind T take so that if I drop anything on the ground as a pile or whatnot, oh, see, now it made a pile of dirt over there, all three of them. I want to take by pushing T. So this is six, six dirts deep. I have three. Oh, we're going to go ahead and drop it on the ground. Boom. Right, if I examine, now it's only three dirts deep, and this one is three dirts. If I need to find three more dirts to drop in this corner in order to make this tile flat so I can plan my house. Now, I can go ahead and take off three dirts from each corner. One, two, three. That will give me nine, nine dirts extra, but I don't want to do that because that's nine actions. Instead, I want to find three more dirt somewhere else so you know let's just see if we can take a dirt from this corner so from this tile here I highlight the tile and I go ahead and dig oh I'm not skilled enough okay my digging is only 3.64 I'm not skilled enough to dig this okay what is the actual slope here mm, trees in my way I can't find out what about up here this one looks promising let's go ahead and dig on this one one two three there you go this is only four this is seven we got it what's the digging at here now when you're digging a slope I believe the the algorithm is you can dig three times your base skill. So if my digging is only 3.8, let's say, let's round it up to four, then the highest slope that I can dig is three, six, or it would be four, eight, 12. 12 slopes. But let's not worry about that. I have three dirts in my, in my inventory now. I'm going to take it into this tile, into this corner right here, remember? All right, we're going to walk, literally walk to this corner. We're going to right click on it. We're going to say drop on the ground. And if we examine this tile, or we examine the borders, level, 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 and level. And this is a level tile that we can put our house on now I literally cannot plan my house because I have to craft a new tool called a mallet in order to do carpentry but that's going to be in the next episode before we end this episode I wanted to show you the different types of uh, digging actions that you can perform so if I highlight my shovel and come over to this tile okay and I want to flatten this tile it will automatically distribute um, the dirt from one slope around to the other. But I can't modify all the tiles because I, there's trees in the way. But if you wanted to flatten a tile out, you can just right click flatten the tile. wonder if we can do it to this one. Let's see if we can flatten this tile. It may change this tile's appearance. Nope, can't modify the corners because there's trees. So you have to get rid of all the trees on adjacent tiles before you can perform actions like that. In any case, so we have our flat tile now with our cute little mushroom on it and we're going to try to build or plan our house. But first, we must do some crafting. So stay tuned for the next episode.